Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the moss stitch or it's sometimes called the granite stitch and this is the stitch pattern that you are seeing here on this little swatch that I have done. As you can see when you crochet this pattern it creates a very solid fabric so when it's uh, finished there aren't too many holes it has nice give to it when you work it in large pieces depending on the yarn you're using it also provides nice drape and that kind of thing you can see that it creates sort of a woven texture and it's created fairly simply using uh, single crochet stitches and chain stitches so this is a great stitch pattern to learn if you are a beginner or just looking to increase your stitch repertoire um, if you're going to crochet along with me today, all you'll need is a little bit of yarn and a crochet hook to match, and uh, we'll get started. Now to work the moss stitch, all you're going to need to do is to take your yarn and make your slip knot, and then you are going to begin with a chain that is an even number of stitches. So for today I'm going to simply chain 12 stitches just to give you a sample idea of how to work this but even any even number of stitches will do for this pattern. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Actually I'm going to do 14 just to make it a little bit longer. So once you have worked your even number of stitches, the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to single crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So this is the first, second, third, fourth. So in this right here, I am going to work my first single crochet stitch. We're going to follow that by chaining one, skip the next chain, and then single crochet in the next one. And now you're simply going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, and single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to do that all the way across your starting chain and you should end with a single crochet in the final chain. Once you come to the end of your row, you are going to chain two and turn your work. Now working across, what you're going to do is after you have chained two is you're going to work your first single crochet stitch in the chain one in your first chain one space. So I have my final single crochet stitch here from row one and then next to it is my chain one space and you can kind of pull your work apart and you'll see just a nice little space there for you to insert your hook. So you've chained two, you're going to single crochet in the first chain one space. Then you're going to chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet in the next chain one space once again. And then again, simply you are going to repeat that process all the way across to the end. So chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet in the next chain one space. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet in the next chain one space. Continue that all the way across. When you come to your beginning chain two, you are going to work your final single crochet in that chain two space. And that brings you to the end of your row. Next you will chain two and turn your work. And now to work the rest of the pattern it is simply repeating that second row that you just worked. So you've chained two, 
skip your first single crochet and single crochet in the first chain one space, chain one, skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the next chain one space. Continue that all the way across your work. Always remember when you come to the end of your row, you will always work that single crochet in that final chain two space. If you are finding that your edges are not straight and perhaps they're kind of going a little inward on you, it's probably because you're missing that final chain two space. Always remember to place your last single crochet in it. So once you hit to the end of the road, end of the row, chain two, turn your work and begin again. Single crochet in the first chain one space, chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next chain one space. And that's all there is to this stitch pattern. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, be sure to take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to update it weekly with more stitch tutorials and crochet patterns. Thank you so much for joining me and happy crocheting. Bye.